everyone, Natasha Rachel here, Digital Learning Specialist in Instructional Technology, and I'm going to create this video to show you how easy it is to set up a Google Meet. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your Omnibox and type in meet.google.com. It's going to go ahead and pop up. What you're going to need to do from here is go ahead and make sure that you are in your Atlanta Public Schools account. This is important because at the end of your recording, it's going to send you a link to your email as well as send the video to your Google Drive and you want to make sure that it's going to the right place. If you're not in your APS email, just click switch account and then make sure that you are in the correct email. From here, it's very easy. All you're going to do is click Start New Meeting. It's going to create the meeting for you automatically. There's nothing you have to do. If these boxes are empty or transparent as they are, that means that your microphone and your camera are both enabled. That means that people will be able to hear you and see you. If you click it and it turns red, that's muting yourself and it is getting rid of your camera. So if you are the leader of this um, presentation that you are going to be doing, make sure that those are both transparent. Your meeting is ready. You can copy this information right here and paste it and send that to your teachers or your participants, your students, whoever's going to be on the receiving end of the information that you're going to be giving. Okay. From there, you're just going to click start meeting and your meeting is created. Again, it's giving you that information here. So if you want to copy and paste that, they do give it to you again here. Now you also have the option, excuse me, instead of emailing this information to your teachers or including it in a calendar invite or sending it to your Google Classroom if you're a teacher, you also have the option to add people here. So if you wanted to just have a small little hangout with a couple people, you could just click add people and add them individually here. Okay. Um, if you are doing this for a larger group, definitely don't do it that way. All right. So now here is your hangout ready to go. I'm actually going to shrink this just a little bit so I can see. All right. So now what is going to happen is that your meeting has started. So whoever has that link will pop in. And as people pop in, you'll see this number here right now. It's just one person because it's me pop in. Um, if their cameras are on, you will see their faces. If their cameras are off, you won't see their faces. Also, there is a chat feature here. So as your hangout is going, people can chime in and say, hello, I'm here. I can ask questions here. So you want to encourage your participants to ask questions as the presentation is going on here. Okay. Um, the other thing you want to make sure you do is as your presentation starts is that you ask everyone to mute themselves. You as the leader of this meet will not be able to mass mute everybody. What you could do, which is a hassle, is go individually and mute them here. Um, you'll see their microphone and you would just click it here, which is a huge hassle. So you just want to continuously ask them to mute themselves. Okay. The other thing I want to share with you is down here, you can't see it because my um, screencast options are going here, but you have the option, you can kind of see the words popping out at the top of there, to get the meeting information again. So that join code and the link, that is also right there. I was going to point to it, you wouldn't have been able to see. Another thing that Google has is these turn on captions. So if you turn those on as I'm talking, it's going to go ahead and put those captions at the bottom of the screen. So if you have, um, for example, students that need to see your words as well as hear them, you can go ahead and use it for that. If you have teachers that are viewing a professional development in a media center, center setting or something like that, excuse me, you can go ahead and turn those on and they will be there. When you're ready to turn them off, just click it again and they go away. The other thing that I want to share with you is that you have the option to present your screen. So if I say present now, I can share my entire screen or a window. I'm going to go ahead and share my entire screen. Yes, that's what I want to share. And now whoever's on my meeting will be able to see my screen. So it's preparing my screen and then it's going to start. So it is sharing my screen. For example, if I wanted to share this PowerPoint presentation, I could go ahead and go through my presentation um, in presentation mode if I wanted to so that it was nice and big for my um, participants. Okay. It will kind of prompt you as you go from 
uh, browser to browser that you are sharing your screen just to kind of remind you. When you are ready to stop presenting, you'll just click stop presenting and now it will come back to your camera screen and your participants will be able to see your face again. Okay, You'll know that you have new chats coming in because you'll see the number here and then you'll also see a little text box pop up down here. One thing that Google has released for um, this whole coronavirus thing um, up until June, I'm sorry, July 1st, it will go away July 1st, is the capability to record your meet. So right here, you're going to click your snowman. Once you click that, you're going to get a pop-up box and you'll see that it says record meeting. If you click this, it's going to start to record your meeting. So what you want to do is before your meeting even starts, go ahead and click record meeting. Go ahead and accept the cons consent and you'll see that it's preparing itself and it will give you an indication that it has started recording. There we go. So now we know that this meeting is recording and you want to make sure you do that before you start your meeting. So as participants come in, they're asking questions that you are good to go. Okay. Excuse me. When you are finished presenting your meeting, you're just going to click your snowman again, click stop recording, stop it here as well. And then that's it. Now your recording is not saving. It is going to automatically save it to your Google Drive. So if I come to my Google Drive, it will be there as well as um, it will send you a link to your email with the link to the video that is created. Okay. If you have any questions, you can definitely reach out. My email is nbrachell at atlanta.k12.ga.us. Hope you guys have an awesome day and I will have quick sheets to accompany this video as well. Have a great day. Bye.